every astronaut would return. I haven't met a single astronaut who would not go back into space. Yeah, and I'm no exception. I'd love to go back. I was really lucky because I was in the right place at the right time and um, it was one of those things where you know it's sort of it's, it's all or nothing and this opportunity may not come again so I was going to grab it there and then. During the launch we had an oxygen valve that was stuck open and had it remained stuck open we would have had too much oxygen, risk of explosion, we would have had to land on the very next orbit. Fortunately, once we got into the vacuum of space, we think that vacuum sucked out a bit of dust that was probably stopping the valve from seating, and the valve then closed, and we didn't get any more oxygen until we needed it. You can't just leave something floating. It's very difficult to leave it absolutely constantly still. It's the most natural, relaxing feeling you can ever imagine. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, nearest is floating on top of the water in a swimming pool, but then, of course, the water's keeping you buoyant, whereas in space, you just... In, in the air, there's nothing necessarily that you're in contact with. <laughs> it is just the best feeling. I don't know how much the British public understands that the government has paid for one space flight. This is Tim Peake, he's been in space for a few months, he's going to come back in June and that is it, unless we continue to fund, which I really hope um, will be the case. Surely, once people realise that, um, that you know, there is a danger that there will be no other British astronaut if we don't continue to fund, there, that funding must come.